Hello everyone. In this video, we have the system of equations and we have to find the values of x and y. But before we begin, as always, pause the video and try first. And if you're new here, consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Now let's get started. As you can see, we have some bars on top of some of the numbers. Okay. And these bars simply means the numbers are repeating forever. Now, if you want to solve this type of problem without any difficulties, all you need to do is to convert these decimals into fractions. Okay, so we have 1.3 bar, which is the same as 1.333, and the 3 keeps on going, just like that. Okay, now if you punch this whole thing on a calculator, you'll be getting 4 over 3. Now, what if calculator is not allowed? How are you going to do it? Now, one way to do this without a calculator is to let a certain variable, in this case, I would say A equals 1.3 bar, which is the same as 1.333, and the 3 keeps on going forever. All right. Now, if I multiply this equation by 10, we have 10A is equal to 13.333, and the 3 keeps on going. All right. Now, if I take this first equation from the second one, we have 9a is equal to 12. Because this point 333 will go away, so we have 12 over here. Now, dividing each side of the equation by 9, this one will cancel this. And this implies that a is equal to 3 goes here 4 and then goes here 3. So, we have 4 over 3. Okay, so we are done with this one. Now let's focus on this one, 0 0.81 bar. And this is also the same as 0 0.818181, and it keeps on going just like that. So if I let b equals 0 0.818181, and multiply it by 100, we have 100b is equal to 81.8181, 81, then it keeps on going. Now, if I take the first equation from the second one, we have 99b is equal to 81. Now, dividing each side by 99, this one will cancel this. So we have b is equal to 9 goes here 9 times and then goes here 11 times. So we have 9 over 11. And then we also have 0 0.18 bar, and this is also the same as 0 0.1818, and it also keeps on going. Now let's go ahead and then set this one to C. So we have C is equal to 0 0.1818, then it keeps on going just like that. Now multiplying both sides by 100, we have 100C is equal to 18.18. 1, 8, then it keeps on going. Now, taking this equation from this one, we have 99C is equal to 18. Let's go ahead and divide each side by 99 so that this one will cancel this. Now, we have C is equal to 9 goes here 2 and then goes here 11. So, we have 2 over 11. So, the first equation becomes... 4 over 3 times x minus 9 over 11 times y is equal to 2 on 11. Okay, so this is the first equation. Now let's focus on the second equation over here. And that one too, we have 0 0.6 bar x plus 0 0.27 bar y is equal to 0 0.24 bar, okay? So let's go ahead and convert this one first. So we have 0 0.6 bar, which is also the same as 0 0.666, then it keeps on going. So if I let E equals 0 0.666, then it keeps on going, and then multiply this one by 10, we have 10E is equal to 6.666 and it keeps on going just like that. Okay, now taking the first equation from the second one, we have 9e is equal to 6. 
Okay, now dividing each side by 9, this one will cancel this. Now we have E is equal to 3 goes here 2 times and then goes here 3. Now focusing on 0 0.27 bar, this is the same as 0 0.2727 and it keeps on going. Let D equal to 0 0.2727. 2727 two, then it keeps on going now if you multiply this one by 100 we have 100 d is equal to 27.2727 27, 27, then it keeps on going all right now taking the first equation from the second one we have 99 d is equal to 27 okay now let's go ahead and then divide each side by 99 so that this we take this now we have d is equal to 9 goes here 3 and then goes here 11 so we have d to be this now the last one we have 0 0.24 bar and this is also the same as 0 0.2424 then it keeps on going okay so if j is equal to 0 0.2424 like this Let's go ahead and multiply this one by 100. So we have 100G is equal to 24.2424. Then it keeps on going. Right? Now subtracting this equation from this one, we have 99G is equal to 24. Okay? Now let's go ahead and then divide each side by 99. So that this one will cancel this. So we have g is equal to 3 goes into 24 8 times and then goes into 99 33 times so we have 8 over 33 now we have the first equation to be 4 times x over 3 minus 9 over 11 y is equal to 2 on 11 and this is our equation 1 then equation 2 we have 2 on 3 times x plus 3 on 11 times y is equal to 8 on 33. And this is our equation 2. Now equation 1 times 33, we have 11 into 4x minus 3 into 9y is equal to 2 into three okay so we have 44 x minus 27 y is equal to six i'm gonna call this equation equation star then equation two times 33 as well so we have 11 into 2x plus 3 into 3y is equal to 8 okay so simplifying this we have 22x plus 9y is equal to 8. And I'm going to call this equation, equation hash. Now let's go ahead and then multiply equation hash by 3. So we have 66x plus 27y is equal to 24. And this becomes our equation, let's say, 3. Now let's go ahead and add equation star and then equation 3 all right now considering the left hand side of equation star we have 44x minus 27y then considering the left hand side of the equation 3 we also have 66x plus 27y and this is equal to the right hand side we have 24 plus 6 now straight away you can see that this negative 27y will cancel this positive 27y. Then 44x plus 66x we have 110x is equal to 30. Now since we are looking for x, let's divide each side by 110. So that this one will cancel this. Now this implies that x is equal to this 0 will also cancel this. Now we have 3 over 11. Okay, now since we know that x is equal to 3 over 11, now let's go ahead and plug this value into one of the equations. And I'm going for equation hash, okay? So from equation hash, we have 22x plus 9y is equal to 8, okay? 
8 over here. Now substituting x into this equation, we have 22 into 3 on 11 plus 9y is equal to 8. Now 11 goes into 22 two times. So we have 6 plus 9y is equal to 8. Okay. Now solving for y in this equation, we have 9y is equal to 8 minus 6. So we have 9y is equal to 2. Now let's go ahead and then divide each side by 9. So this implies that y is equal to 2 on 9. So in all, we have x is equal to 3 over 11. Then y is equal to 2 over 9. Now the question was in decimals, so we need to convert these fractions into decimals as well. Now converting this one first, we have 3 divided by 11. Okay, 11 cannot divide 3 straight away, so we bring 0, then point, then we add 0 to this one. Now 11 goes into 32 times, so 2 times 11 is 22. Now let's go ahead and then subtract this one. So we have 8 over here. Now 11 cannot divide 8, so we we'll add 0 to it. 80 divided by 11, we have 7. 7 times 11 is 77. Then minus 80 minus 77 is 3. Okay. Now 11 cannot divide 3 straight away, so we we'll add 0 to it. So you see that we are back to 30, so it means that it keeps on going. 27, 27. So we can say that this is equal to 0.27 bar. Alright, so we are done with this one. Now let's focus on y equals 2 divided by 9. So we have 2 divided by 9. Okay, now 9 cannot divide 2 straight away, so we have 0. Point. Then we add 0 to this one. 9 goes into 22 times. 2 times 9 is 18. So we take this one from this. And we have 2 over here. 9 cannot divide 2 straight away. So we add 0 to this one. 20 divided by 9. We have 2. Then 18 over here. And taking this one from this. We have 2 again. So you see that it keeps on going. So it means this is 2, 2, 2, 2. Which is equal to 0 0.2 bar. So in all, we have x to be 0 0.27 bar, then y is equal to 0 0.2 bar, all right? Now plugging x and y into the original equation, we have 1.3 bar times x, where x is 0 0.27 bar. Now testing this equation apart from the little runoff error, we have this one to be 0 0.18 bar, then this one to be 0 0.24 bar, okay? So I hope you found this video useful. Please consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.